What is up guys? Lily here and this is my first debut of you guys getting to see me ride my new baby one wheel pint for pleasure, for leisure, not for race activities, which trust me, I love racing against some of these guys on this channel. If you have no idea what I'm talking about and you just stumbled on my videos, stick around after and watch one of our race videos. I get to race with some awesome one wheel riders. We do races all over town on trails, on pavement, on grass. We do different types of races on our one wheels and we really do it to entertain you guys, but also to show you guys how to have a little bit of fun on a one wheel. So today I'm here to represent the ladies community on YouTube. One wheel riders, if you're a chick, you know how much fun one wheel riding is. And I don't mean to make it so distinctive like this is just for girls, but there is a presence of one wheel riders that are girls and someone needs to speak for us here. Like. I want to pioneer this in a way for all our ladies who ride one wheels. I know there's Instagram accounts all for lady one wheel riders and I just want to represent a little today and talk about one wheel riding. I know that this might go for guys and gals and whoever is riding a one wheel, but for me, I sometimes experience riders anxiety. And riders anxiety I believe comes with experiences that you have that are a little taxing from riding, let's say a fall. You know, I don't really know what else could be taxing other than falling and I have fallen a lot and this has brought me some rider's anxiety. Now, I can choose to stay in that and only play it safe, only go on pavement, only be on sidewalks, but I have friends around me that want to do fun rides like this. There's Kristen behind me who is also a lady one wheel rider and she just also got a one wheel pint and she's become a fantastic rider. I don't know if she can relate to this rider's anxiety, but I really struggle with it and I know that when my friends are going out on a group ride like this today, we're on mountain bike trails here and these trails are pretty skinny at times, pretty rocky at times, pretty rooty at times and it brings me some anxiety knowing I could take a mean fall today and I have to be okay with that. And it just, um, there are times when I get a little scared of what the terrain is like and it makes me slow down. It makes me be a little hesitant about how I ride. And I have chosen to just take, kind of like roll with the punches, you know? And understand that not every ride is gonna be as smooth as butter, but that's kind of what makes it fun and the rider's anxiety like I said I think it's induced by previous falls um, and every time I ride I just have to understand that that comes with this and it doesn't make it any less fun and how to for me what I do in kind of masking that rider's anxiety is one for sure riding with other people it's more fun that way like here it's super fun to ride with Kristen on these trails but also knowing that someone's there, like doing the same thing I'm doing, it helps me kind of bring a little peace to the ride. And another thing that helps me is always looking ahead of what my path is and knowing what's coming up ahead of me. Now, there are certain times where I'm riding or I'm just doing something that I like to do and I'm like going full on, all in in this ride or I like to do CrossFit, so all in in this workout and I don't really pay attention to what's ahead of me. And there are times where that comes back to bite me in the butt. Either I fall or I do something wrong. And it's, I struggle with the details of things and really paying attention to what's around me. So with one wheel riding, if you ride, you know how important it is to pay attention to what's around you because the moment you miss it or the moment you stop looking because you're flying down the trail or flying down the pavement, you miss something important that you should have probably seen and for me, sometimes it's too late because I take a fall. Now I know I'm talking a lot about falling, but I don't want that to kind of mask the joy in one wheel riding. We have to be aware that falling is certainly, there's Kristen just takes a hit there. Falling is certainly a part of it and there are falls that you fall onto your face and there are falls where you can catch them with your feet, kind of like Kristen did there. 
But just because it comes with it as a risk of one wheel riding doesn't mean that you shouldn't do it. Doesn't mean that you shouldn't get that one wheel you've been thinking about getting for all of this time. I love my one wheel. I love riding it. I love the joy that it brings me. I love, honestly, in times where I'm having not just writer's anxiety, but real life anxiety and anxious thoughts and thoughts about my future and thoughts, thoughts about what is going on in my life, I often just take my one wheel out for a little bit of a decompression ride. Some of my favorite times to ride is at night because it's quiet and it's dark and I ride on the sidewalk to stay safe, but it really helps me clear my mind. I almost would say every time I ride my one wheel, unless I'm going up against the guys and Kristen for a race, it's always peaceful. It's always something that helps me just kind of take a deep breath and know life is going to continue on, but the only thing that really will change it for me is my attitude in that. And so I know I'm talking a lot about riders' anxiety and real life anxiety, and there's just a lot to it that we can combine and almost look at it the same way. If I looked at my rider's anxiety and was like, I don't want this to hinder me from going out and riding for pleasure. So I'm not going to, there's, there's a fall right there. I'm going to get back up or I'm going to take, I'm going to take, not play it safe all the time and just stay on the pavement. I'm going to hit these trails and I'm going to have fun doing it. And I'm going to make memories because if I don't do that, then I allow my anxiety with riding in certain terrain to rob me of an experience, to rob me of going out for a group ride like this and it was morning time so I love like waking up and going out first thing for a ride with a cup of coffee or something like an iced coffee so fun another fall so here I choose gotta keep going gotta get back up and you know what sometimes it's frustrating sometimes it's like like that right there I fall right back again and you can hear me go oh like I get a little bit frustrated not because I can't do it but because because I feel like the anxiety that gets induced with riding is like you don't expect it when it comes and it happens very quickly it's one route you go off of or one rock and it happens so quickly that it kind of surprises me and I don't know if you're like that put in the comments below if you if you ever feel the same way when you ride but I just have to choose because whether or not it surprises me or I see it coming and it's a hard fall or an okay fall, I have to make the choice to get back up and I kind of attribute that with life. I don't know about you, but I do struggle with anxiety at times. I do struggle with fear of the future. I do struggle with not knowing what's going to happen in my life and knowing that I am in control of a lot of my choices, but also knowing that I can really, oh, there's another fall. That's where I got my knee right there. I have a huge scratch on my knee from that fall right there. And so you've seen all kinds of falls in this video. You've seen the ones where I can catch my feet and the ones where I fall to my knees. Gotta get back up. And like I was saying, I, I often, I know that my choices can affect my future. I know that I can decide to do something. I'm very capable of deciding to do something that can really affect a lot of my friendships or my job. And man, sometimes I get to a spot where I'm like, I could, I am really in control of what's going on in my life. And at times that can be scary. At times that can be empowering. And I know for me, I use something like the one wheel to take a deep breath, to get outside, to go ride and kind of recenter myself and understand I'm not fully in control of what goes on in my life. I know things get thrown at me. I know things are entrusted to me, but really it's truly how I respond to those things. And I really like coordinating that or almost relating that to riding one wheels because it's like not everyone has rider's anxiety. I totally get that. But for me, it, it's very similar in that I have to make a choice to get back up or to get back out there, to not let myself get too fearful of going back out on trails or whatever it is. And so that's my little encouragement for you today. We have to choose to keep moving, just like the one wheel in its own little battery powered world. Every time that sensors get gets pushed on, it chooses because it's programmed to, but bear with me here to keep going. 
And we have to do the same. We have to wake up every day and make a choice. I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna believe that something could happen to me today that's defining or impacting not only in my own life, but in someone else's life. And that choice could be the, dif the difference from a memory that's made or an experience that's had or someone who needed kindness that day that you were able to bring. And I just don't wanna miss it. Just like I don't wanna miss out on a group ride, I don't wanna miss out on a fun trail ride because of my anxiety with sometimes riding. I don't wanna miss moments that I can impact others by making a choice to be joyful in a day. And so I know that there are more people than just ladies watching this. If you're, if you're a girl and you ride one wheels, I'd love to meet you in the comments below. I'd love to connect with you and talk about one wheel riding. And if you're a guy and you're watching or whoever you are and you're watching, I'm glad you made it today. I'm glad that you hung out here, watched me ride a little bit. I have been taking ideas about what I should name my one wheel pint. When I first got it, my friends picked out the colors for me and everything and my first thought was, hmm, white fender, that's like marshmallow and then the blue and pink is like cotton candy. So I named my one wheel pint Marshmallow Cotton Candy and some of my friends just roll their eyes at me with that name. So if you have a better idea, put it in the comments down below. I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me today. I really love riding. I know sometimes anxiety comes with riding if you've had a few bad falls, but don't forget, this is a fun thing to do that brings people peace and joy and excitement and adventure. So get back out there every time and make the choice to keep on moving. We will see you guys soon. Have an awesome day. Bye.